Hello, hello everyone. How you guys doing today? What's up? I'm Red and welcome back to a new episode of Skyblock Iron Man Profile. Mayor Diana is now in the office and today we're going to be taking on one of her perks. And that perk is Mythological Ritual. And what this does is basically spawn in burrows that you have to dig with the Ancestral Spade that we're going to have to buy for 5,000 coins and 32 gold. And once you dig these burrows up, you will either get coins or feathers or ancient claws, or it can spawn mythological creatures, which will drop some cool items once we get our griffin to legendary. So I have 32 gold ingots on me, and I also have 5,000 coins in my purse. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the ancestral spade. And if we right click the spade, it will show our waypoint. And if we follow that waypoint, it will spawn in a burrow, so if we dig it up, we will get the next one, so you have to do four in total. And I'm just gonna go around and try and get them. It, it would probably be a smart idea to put on armor as well. <laughs> there we go. And we won't tap it. Beautiful. I would definitely recommend getting an Aspect of the End or Aspect of the Void for this, as mobility in this event is quite important. And the reason why we want to do this event is because this, this is the only way that you can upgrade your Griffin pet. Unlike some of the other pets, you cannot upgrade it through the NPC cat. So instead, what you have to do is collect these feathers. So griffin feathers, which drop from the mobs, or you can also dig them up from the burrow, and also ancient claws to craft the base griffin upgrade stone. To craft the base griffin upgrade stone, you will need 8 griffin feathers, 16 enchanted gold, and 8 enchanted cobblestone. And then you will have to recraft this item every single time you want to upgrade your griffin, as that is the base upgrade. So if you want to get an uncommon griffin pet, you will need 8 griffin feathers, 48 enchanted gold, and 32 ancient claws with the base griffin upgrade stone. And I highly recommend using a mod when you do this event, as doing it without one is going to be such a pain in the ass. I am using sky tills and it adds waypoints, so it's pretty nice. There we go, we just got our first feather, let's go. Second feather. Oh no, not the cats. Cats are so annoying. You have to switch between killing them, or hitting them rather. And they're just so annoying. Ow. Kill me. I should be able to kill them, I think, without dying, hopefully. There we go. Oh my god, the cats again. Back to back. We love it. And another thing to note is that the higher rarity your griffin is, the stronger these mobs will become. And I'm pretty sure one of the strongest mobs has like 40 million HP, so... Hopefully we, we don't spawn it anytime soon, <laughs> is all I'm saying. Oh my god, I keep spawning in cats. There we go, and that is our final griffin feather. So I have just finished grinding Mayor Diana, and I actually kind of messed up and miscalculated a little bit, so I got 16 extra griffin feathers. But either way, we will use them in a future upgrade, so it doesn't really matter. And I went ahead and placed down- oh wait, no, we don't have enough. I have all the materials except for I am missing 15 enchanted gold. So what I'm gonna do is head to the dwarven mines and we are gonna go and mine some gold from there. 
And so in the Dwarven Mines, I'm up here by the Ice Walkers. So just above them, there's a couple of gold veins and you can actually mine gold here. And I'm going to put on my mineral armor as it will just make it faster. And we can just go ahead and kind of mine around here until we have the enchanted gold that we need. And there we go. I think that was probably the easiest grind of my life. It literally took me two minutes, not even joking. And we've got the rest of the gold that we will need for our griffin upgrade. Now, as I mentioned before, for the griffin upgrade, we will first of all need a base griffin stone. And I can go ahead and grab all the materials for it. I kind of spread them around in the inventory just to kind of dem demonstrate what we need. And so if it will let me grab it, there we go. There is our first base griffin upgrade stone and let's craft it. Now that we have the base griffin upgrade stone, we can go ahead and actually craft the uncommon version of the upgrade stone. And I have all the materials once again prepared. And let's go ahead and get this. Here we go, here we go. Wow. Beautiful. And then another thing that you can get from Mayor Diana is actually an accessory that has five different tiers and we can actually go ahead and craft the first tier as I grinded the griffin feathers for it. And so it is crafted by 40 ancient claws, four griffin feathers and a bucket of milk. So pretty easy. I also have all the materials for that. So let's go ahead and get this first upgrade to the accessory. And there is the accessory. Beautiful. And now with the upgrade stone, we can click our griffin and it should upgrade its rarity. So here we go. Bam. Beautiful. We now have an uncommon griffin pet. And with that, we have also unlocked a new mob that will spawn from the burrows, which we will probably do next time Diana is elected. And then the mobs are going to be slightly stronger as well. So hopefully by the time she is back in the office, we're going to have some stronger gear as well or better gear rather. But nice, that, that, that is great progress. So for the rest of this video, we're going to be doing something that I have been delaying for so long and that is getting fairy souls. I have been delaying the grind for the fairy souls a little bit as without the aspect of the end or a grappling hook or a better way of uh, transportation or mobility it can be quite annoying to get to some of them but I'm still gonna go ahead and uh, struggle a little bit and try to get places with the ender pearls instead as obviously we do not have an aspect of the end yet but for anyone who doesn't know fairy souls are these colorful blocks that you can find around the map they're kind of hidden so if we go ahead and open our quest log you can see that there is 239 fairy souls in total and there is 79 of them hidden in the hub. Now, because I use the Badline client, they actually have this really cool feature where you can enable a setting and it will actually display beacons of where the fairy souls are hidden. Uh, you can get this feature with other mods as well, I'm pretty sure. But since I'm on Badline right now, I'll just be using that. And I'm going to go around the hub and try to collect as many as I can. So here is our first fairy soul and the reason why we want to get fairy souls is because you can hand them in to I think Tia the fairy, I think that's her name. She's an NPC by the lake that I'll show you a bit later on and she will basically give you stats for every five fairy souls I believe that you turn in. So that's pretty good, we're gonna get a lot of HP and also strength I believe from that so I'm gonna go around and try to get as many as I can wow well, that landed perfectly. That was my first ender pearl as well. <laughs> Another thing that you should do before doing the fairy soul grind is definitely bank your coins as some of the fairy souls you will have to drop off the map to get and that will obviously rip your wallet apart if you have larger sums of money without a cookie. This is gonna be my last fairy soul for the hub so let's go and click it. Boom. And then if we look in the quest log 
you can see that on the hub we have now 79 out of 79 fairy souls i'm gonna go ahead and repeat this in all of the other islands that we have explored so gold mine deep caverns mushroom desert the barn spiders den the end and the park so i'm gonna go around all of these islands and collect all the fairy souls and then we're gonna go and hand them all in at once that is all of the fairy souls collected in the gold mine deep caverns completed that is all of the fairy souls done on the farming island so the barn and the mushroom island they're combined just finished all the fairy souls in the park Alrighty, that is spiders then done. That is the end done as well. And I just finished Borven Mines as well. I'm gonna also head to the dungeon hub. Uh, I know we haven't done dungeons yet, but I just want to go and collect all the fairy souls from there. And I have just completed the dungeon hub as well. And we now have 192 fairy souls collected in total. Now we still have Jerry's workshop left, so we will do that once it opens. And then we also obviously have the Crimson Isles, which we don't have access to yet. And then the other thing that we have to do is get them from like fishing. And also there is, I think, five fairy souls inside the dungeon as well. So we will get those um, once we start doing that and once we get to fishing and stuff. Now I am back at the hub and I'm going to make my way to the ferry and we're going to go and hand everything in and we'll see how much health we gain and how much strength as well. Right, uh, let me take my armor off. We'll do it without anything on. So, oops, it's a different one. All right, there we go. So I have, I'll take my griffin off as well, even though he doesn't boost my health. So I have 407 base health and 34 strength. Let's talk to her and uh, let's give her all the fairy souls and let's see how much we get afterwards. Oh wow, I think I might have spam spammed her too much. There we go. And we are now sitting at 432 health and 35 strength i kind of forgot that with the skyblock levels update this got nerfed quite a bit um you used to gain a lot more health and a lot more strength in the previous versions i guess like before the um sky level uh, skyblock levels update but now that this is a thing yeah it's uh it's kind of bad not gonna lie and i don't know if it was really worth it <laughs> another thing that i haven't done yet is also talk to the museum guy and we can donate weapons armor sets rarities and special items to him and we will get a value number here by uh, miss eleanor and she will upgrade our i think bank account or vault i'm not sure one of the two the more items we give to the museum the the higher value we will have and then it will rank up our it's bank upgrades so yeah bank upgrades while i was in the end mining the end nodes the other day i actually dropped a very special item and that is shrimp the fish and he happens to be or it rather <laughs> it happens to be a special item that you can donate to the museum so there we go Making our first donation, it is valued at 7.425 million coins. I wish we could sell that and get 7 million, that would be nice, but there we go. Our first donation. Anyway, I think this is where we're gonna call the episode for today. I had a lot of fun doing Mayor Diana and I'm so happy that we actually got an uncommon griffin pet now. And uh, in the future, we're definitely going to do more Mayor Diana events as I eventually want to get a legendary griffin and also a Daedalus axe and other stuff. Um, so we'll definitely continue grinding it. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing or maybe even liking. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it is. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!